Okay, so Apple has just released the first beta for iOS 18.2. Yes, you've heard that right. The first beta for iOS 18.2 is now available for registered developers. Now, keep in mind that Apple continues to build upon Apple intelligence. And with iOS 18.2, we get a bunch of new features and enhancements to Apple intelligence. This one is now available for Apple intelligent devices. iPhones and iPads capable of running Apple intelligence can update to 18.2 developer beta one and we have a lot to talk about here apple has added image playground support genmoji siri with chat gpt support visual intelligence and we also have the new redesigned mail app on this latest ios 18.2 so let's go ahead and dive right into this video so the first thing i want to talk about is image creation or image playground this is what it looks like when you first launch the application as you see here you have image playground genmoji and image one and you do have to request access for early access right because this is still in beta so when you first launch the application there it is is on the home screen it will prompt you with this right here to gain early access to some of these new features once you do you'll get a check mark here for early access once it is available downloaded and ready to use on your device in the settings application you'll get this pop-up right here and then you can launch the image playground on your iphone and you can start using it you see the splash screen here giving you a description of things you can do inside of the app and then the app will be ready for you to use so let's jump into image playground here and let's show you some of the new capabilities of this new application for Apple intelligence. So the UI is fairly simple. You have the description tab right here. You also have suggestions. You have the tap more or show more options here. So you can choose from any theme. You can choose also from costumes. You also have accessories and you also have places. Now at the bottom, you can start describing anything you want and we'll get to that here in just a few seconds. You also have the ability to choose a person or an appearance. You can tap into appearance and it'll start creating a person for you if you wish to do that. So right here you have different skin tones, different types of, you know, variations for humans that you can go ahead and create with Image Playground. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start here with image creation with a description. So let's say, for example, I want an image of a cat wearing a hat, just for an example. So a cat wearing a hat. There we go. So let's go ahead and submit that and let's see what that looks like. So there it is. Image Playground is getting to work. You see there that it starts loading and it starts creating different images. I can swipe to the right and you see there a cat with a hat, which is really cool. Now, once you create the image, obviously you can share it, get rid of it or edit the image right there from the options that you have available. I'm just going to delete this one real quick here. Let me show you more options available. So right here, as I mentioned, you can also choose a person, your iPhone will recognize people in your camera roll. So right here, Steve Jobs, let's select Steve Jobs here and let's go ahead and click done. And then what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and show Steve Jobs actually with hair, as you see right there. So let's go ahead and see Steve Jobs on stage. So we're going to go to places here and we're going to select stage and let's see Steve Jobs on stage. There we go. So it's now done creating Steve Jobs on stage. And you see here again, I can swipe through just like so. And this is pretty cool. Obviously, the models will get smarter over time, but that's what it looks like. And I can share this image again and also edit this image later if I wish to do so. It will store that image for you and you can start creating even more. The possibilities are endless here. Now you can also click the add button here and change from the animation to illustration. And you can also search for images and take a picture directly on your iPhone as well. So I'll continue playing around with Image Playground, but first impressions, I really like what I see here. I know many users are going to love and get carried away with this one. Okay, so next let's take a look at Gen Emoji. This is a much anticipated feature coming to Apple intelligent devices. Right here is the splash screen when you first launch Genmoji. Now, obviously, in order to get access to Genmoji, you want to go into your messages, tap on the emojis, and right here you have a new icon for Genmoji. So tap into that and you can create any custom emoji and use them as stickers or emojis on your keyboard. So let's say I want to go ahead and create something unique. So let's start with a turtle having a party. Just a random description there for Apple Intelligence to see if it can handle that. So let's go ahead and click done. And there it is. 
a turtle with a party hat celebrating and you can see there we continue to get more images generated here by the apple intelligence let's go into the light mode so you guys can see that a little better i think this is super cool and you can create these stickers and add them to your keyboard and you can use those as stickers later on as well and just like emojis you can send those along so now the possibilities for emojis are just going to be endless again you can tap there and start describing and create any emoji that you would like with the new Genmoji, which I think it's super awesome. So now let's talk about ChatGPT support for iOS. And obviously this is going to integrate into the writing tools in Siri as well. You see here the splash screen that you get when you enable it. Integration with Siri, composed with writing tools using Apple Intelligence and ChatGPT. And you have access to your ChatGPT account directly on iPhone. Now, once you enable this feature, you obviously get the prompt here for privacy on ChatGPT integration with iPhone. In order to enable ChatGPT, you want to jump into settings on your device. You want to head on over into Apple Intelligence, scroll down, and then you'll find the ChatGPT option. Tap into that and make sure you enable ChatGPT right here on the top right. You have access to your account. Obviously, you can log out and you also have confirmed ChatGPT requests, as you can see right there for Siri and things like that. So obviously, this is integrated within Siri. So if Siri can't answer something, ChatGPT will ask you or the iPhone will ask you if you would like to use ChatGPT. But you can also use it to write so let's go into notes here and let's compose a message here with chat gpt as you can see right here we have a description and change here so if we already written something we can go ahead and make the change but if we scroll down we have the compose so you can actually use chat gpt to compose an entire message here so let's go ahead and try that so let's go ahead and tap here and let's say invitation to my birthday party this weekend so that is one of the examples that we get from Apple themselves. So let's go ahead and choose that option. So it's gonna ask us for who. So we're gonna go ahead and type my name and the day we're gonna say October the 26th, for example. And let's say, uh, that's pretty much it. That's everything I wanted to provide. Let's see what ChatGPT can come up with here on this iPhone. And in just a few seconds, it should come up with an invitation here. So there we go. We have additional options, but there it is, an invitation for my birthday party this weekend, which is actually not true, but I'm just sharing with you guys. You can see here, I can add my location later, and the invitation has been created in the notes. Take a look at that, even with an actual image with a custom birthday party right there, RSVP. We can also go ahead and add that into that. So super cool ChatGPT integration through Siri and writing tools with Apple Intelligence within iOS 18.2. I think a lot of users are gonna love this option. Now I wanna talk about visual intelligence. Now, visual intelligence allows you to point the camera of your iPhone at something and it will describe it for you or do a Google search for you. And the way you do that is by holding the camera controls. So here are AirPods here. I can long press the camera controls. Then we have the new UI for visual intelligence. And you see right here, I have several options. I can take a picture here and search Google for this product. As you can see right here, Google search, right there it is. And then it will show me what the product is or I can also go ahead and go back here. Let's go ahead and do an actual image search, just like so. Take a look at the animation. It would go ahead and take a quick scan of the actual thing that it is that you're pointing your camera at, or I can actually ask ChatGBT under visual intelligence, and I can follow up just like so and get an answer from ChatGPT on the iPhone about the product that's in front of me. Again, visual intelligence, long press on the side button here for the camera controls, and it will pop up here for you to take a picture of anything you see, and it will actually help you describe what it is. And you can also take pictures of things like invitations or party banners and things like that, and you can add it to your calendar. It can do a whole lot. I'll have a separate video on visual intelligence, but again, simple enough here, long press on the camera controls, take a picture of a subject and it will describe it for you or do a Google search so you can better understand what you're looking at. Their visual intelligence really love this new feature. Again, a separate video coming just on that alone. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about the updated email application in iOS 18.2. So take a look at this right here. You have different categories on the top here. You see that you have your primary inbox. You have also your transaction emails. You have update emails and you have any promotional emails as well. So you get a brief description under each category describing what it is. Actually, transactions would be obviously anything that you purchase, any receipts or things like that. 
updates there's any follow-ups or any updates that you may have coming up and you also have any promotions and primary will be your primary obviously you also have smart replies and chat gpt integration with writing tools within ios 18.2 for the emails application and this is just a quick first look at some of the latest and new features and changes within ios 18.2 obviously stay tuned here to the channel make sure to subscribe because i have more videos breaking down everything that's new within ios 18.2 this was just scratching the surface letting you guys know what are some of the new capabilities here for apple intelligent devices and i do want to emphasize this update right now 18.2 beta 1 is only available for apple intelligent devices so just keep that in mind thank you for watching this quick one and i'll see you guys on the next one peace